Some guys just aren't into cars. They don't care what they drive. They don't know that feeling you get when you let a beast of an engine off the leash. They don't know how hard it can be to tame a car that just wants to run free in the wild, like a metallic panther. But I'm a man who knows what he wants and God damn it, I'm going to get it. And that's why I drive a 2008 Vauxhall Vectra Estate. The Vauxhall Vectra Estate has got it all. Seats, seat belts, an engine, some headlights. It's even got electric windows, wing mirrors and a CD player. It's not even that great a car to drive. The handling could be better, there could be a bit more punch in the lower gears. But to be honest, just drive it for the fanny. Look, I know I can't drive this car forever. I've got three kids now. My wife's always on at me to get something more sensible, but hey, I guess I'm just a bad boy at heart. My wife and daughter have gone away for a couple of days off to Paris for a little girl's trip. So me and the boys are going to get in the Vectra and smash out a national trust. Now I love a national trust, an item moat is a stone cold classic. Great house, lovely gardens and an awesome children's play area. For a kid, going to a national trust is basically like being a child in the 1980s. If you can play outside, get muddy and do things like that. It sounds like it's a bit stuffy and dull, but really, there's just lots of muds and rivers. Muds? That's not a word. You just go in the water, Otto. Right, I think it's time to come out now. Come down to the bridge and come round. We'll see how wet you are, okay? So how wet did you get from the river? I don't know. How feet wet are your feet? Do they go right in? No one That one. Don't think that's true, is it? Should we play a game called Don't Tell Mummy? So I'll tell you, you fell in the river, you got a stick you like, was that a good trip? Yeah. Back in the car now. What mark would you give it out of 10, our car? 12. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to take a quick break from the vlog here to talk stats. Now my video last week at the time of recording has got a massive, in my opinion, 1,230 views. And that made me excited because it means I get to look at the analytics and I can get a stats boner. YouTube gives you loads of analytics about what's going on in your channel and statistics and stuff. So I thought I'd, I'd delve into there and work out some of the amazing things about you, the, the, the kind viewers who watch this. Uh, most of you are from Britain, most of you are blokes. <laughs> All right. You can sort by country and by the percentage viewed, so how much of the video they viewed. I'm most engaging in Slovakia apparently, where people watch 128% of the video. That means they watched the video and then went back and watched another just over a quarter of it. Absolutely fantastic, great dedication to Slovakia. At the other end of the scale, let's have a look down here and we can see the people of Iceland who watched five seconds of the video before going, nah. Not for me. Fair enough, Icelandic people, at least you know what you like and what you don't like. By far the most interesting thing in the analytics though is that someone watched the video of me going to the tip in the Bahamas. Absolutely magnificent, sat there, pina colada in hand, by the pool, watching a middle-aged man go and throw away a car seat. Anyway, that's enough stats for now, so let's get straight back into the vlog. Now I can't take out the Vectra every day. Even an alpha male like myself needs a break from the high octane thrills, so today, going on a train. Today the train is taking me to Chatham in Kent where I'm going to run 10,000 metres or what is known in running as a 10k. I'm running the Hackney Half Marathon in May so this is a warm-up run for that, a bit of race practice. To be honest I don't really like running, 
I ran my third marathon in October in Valencia and got a respectable for me four hours 25. I don't actually like the actual act of running though. I like seeing improvements from training and I like the progress you get, getting a new PB, stuff like that. Actually running, nah. My occasional running friend Susie T should be on this train, so let's get on and try and find her. Here we are. Yeah, that was the wrong place, wasn't it? Sorry, further down the road, the bloke said. Got seven minutes of the race starts. I haven't got bags in yet, and Susan's still in the toilet. Any danger? You know the race is like seven minutes, right? That's right. What time do you want? What success for you? Under an hour. I'll take that. Oh, boy, I'm starting to fly, if I'm honest. I've done nearly enough training. About half a stone heavier than I did the marathon. Horrible. So there we go, it's done. I'm not sure how long it took. I think probably around 57 minutes. Uh, pretty happy with that. I tore my calf muscle in January playing football. And the first bit of 10k, first run I did back after that it was like a, an hour and a minute or something like that. So I'll take that. Still a month and a bit to go till Hackney Half. Get up the training. Hurts though. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. That's it for this week's vlog. I'm off downstairs to the kitchen to make myself a lungo and uh, maybe take the vet trap for a spin. Back next week with an update on the potatoes. It's gonna be sick.